trying to be positive. I hope work is okay. But whatever happens, the good thing is I'll be off Thursday so I can handle the night, whatever happens. All right, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Bye. I'm gonna have an awesome week and I'm gonna be happy no matter what. I think somewhere in a different life I'm still seven in second grade And I'm so happy that I feel alright Well, you just got married! She's a newlywed! And I'm Congratulations! Thank I'm so you. happy for the good news! You're sweet! And then they also say that I remind them of Whitley Now, I don't like being reminded I don't like people calling me Whitley Now, hit Hillary's a little annoying too, but I can see. I can see. Ew, you want me to wash dishes? Gross. But Whitley gets on my nerves. I don't like being compared to Whitley. Hello, you guys. Good morning. So today is went Tuesday, and I'm going to do like a little video. Um, um, it's going to be a fun, eventful week today. So I'm working Tuesday night, Wednesday night, off Friday. Wait, I'm working Tuesday night, Wednesday night off Thursday, working Friday, then I have Saturday and Sunday off. And so the plans for this weekend is either on Saturday, go to the pumpkin patch or the apple um, picking and then just work this week. And then um, Saturday, Faith is gonna get her hair cut and then Sunday we're taking our Christmas pictures. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna put a little blush on. So right now I'm just getting ready for work. Um, I got this new workout set. I know I told you guys I wasn't getting any, but it's okay. Um, I, 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 I have to look cute, okay? Like, I don't like that black outfit. So, this is the new workout set. I got it from Amazon. And I think it's cute. And it's long sleeve and it's pink and gray. So, whatever. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, you guys. So, I'm excited. Um, I'm going to have an awesome week. And I'm going to be happy no matter what. Um, today, I did something that was very strange, in my opinion, but I called a financial advisor, and I made an appointment, and I'm going to have an appointment with them on Monday because I want to talk about finances, and I need somebody to help me. Um, at this age, in your 30s, you start thinking about things I've never thought about, really, honestly. So the things that I'm thinking about now that I'm trying to take very seriously is I'm thinking about retirement. I'm thinking about how many savings account can I have. I'm thinking about the future and of course now. What do I need to do today, tomorrow, and every day going forward for 20 years to help, you know, God willing if I stay alive that long to have a, some kind of financial setup, you know, coming from immigrant parents and from my parents, you know, there's nothing, nobody really taught me about anything. Like they gave my parents my dad took us to like the bank and I got my first debit card when I was like in high school and he took, showed me how to budget, but that's pretty much it. So anyways, I want to get a professional who are financial advisors to like sit down with me and tell me where I'm at right now and tell me what I need to do to get into a better position. So I'm excited about that. Um, I just want to talk about uh, long-term investing planning, like if I invest in this for 20 years, there you go. I want something like that. I want, and they're going to do a financial analysis, which is really exciting. So that's what I did today. And um, this week, I'm working Tuesday night, Wednesday night, off on Friday. And then, no, no. I'm working Tuesday night, Wednesday night. I'm off on Thursday. And then I'm going to work on Friday night. And this weekend is exciting because Saturday, Faith is going to get her hair cut. And then Sunday, we're going to take our Christmas pictures. So I'm going to take you guys along for that. So hopefully this vlog is going to be um, come with me and just chit chat and... Um, just hang out with me. Um, what was I about to say? Just hang out with me um, for the week as an OB nurse and homemaker. So yeah, it's about to be the holidays and I cannot believe it. And this year, since I'm working PRN at this hospital and I'm not part-time or full-time staff, guess what, you guys? I'm so happy. I'm gonna have Christmas Eve off and Christmas Day. So that's exciting. Just to be able to know that I, I think this is the first time in many years I'm gonna have both. Usually I work on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve and this year it's going to be free and I'm also going to have Thanksgiving off so that's the wonderful thing about being a PRN nurse is that you have more flexibility also you get paid more money and you also um, don't have to work as many major holidays so that's exciting and I think I'm going to work um, another major holiday that's not as important to me so that's basically how it goes and I'm going to go ahead and stretch and it's 4.30 so I got to eat some breakfast breakfast and get ready for work tonight. Maybe I'll take a, take you guys along with me to work. Maybe not. 
awful, like embarrassing. So I made sure I look cute today. Hi, um. Am I gonna get chips and dip or no? Yeah, chips and salsa are included. May I have queso added to that, yeah. please? So since um, it's working and I'm not going to cook dinner, I woke up too late, there's no groceries, so um, we're going out to eat today. I don't know what's going to be for dinner tomorrow night, but today it's going to be Mexican. So this is how this workout clothes looks. I got it from Amazon. <laughs> and I think it's cute. And this is just what I wear in the morning to like stretch and take her walking and things like that. And I like it, I think it's nice. Okay, so I told you guys the reason why I didn't like those workout clothes, I didn't like the way my backside was looking. So there you go, this solves the problem. <laughs> so I just get this tied around my waist and I guess I'm good to go, right? What's going on? I know, I know. So for dinner, we're gonna have these tacos. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but they're so good. Some chips and then some queso. If this is not sweet and um, doesn't have enough cheese, I can add to it. So I'll eat like one now, and then I'll save the rest for dinner tonight at work. So it works out. This will be for me to eat now and then at work later on tonight. So here it is. This is what I'm gonna eat, and then I'll see how I feel. If I'm still hungry, I'll eat some more. <laughs> I have to be very conscious, you know, um, stretching, being healthy, keeping up with my body, keeping up with my mind. I do think it is work to be this way, but guess what? It's also work. When you don't work on these things, then you have to, you know, deal with the consequences of not working on yourself, deal with the cons of consequences of not trying to eat healthy, deal with the consequences of not being self-aware or, you know, not taking pride in your life and how you want to live. So, yeah. So I am about to go to work and uh, this is what it is. I pray tonight is a good night. Put my little hoodie on and I will see you guys tomorrow or I'm probably not going to vlog tomorrow because I'm going to be tired. So I'll see you guys on my day off which will be Friday. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. I just wanted to show you guys my badge. Isn't this so like so cute? A nurse life. Yay! Last night, my night, it was rough starting, but then it ended up being okay. I was being a little dramatic here. Faith is crying and she's looking for you. Faith is looking for you. You left without saying bye to her. And she went in the bedroom, she's crying, running around the apartment frantically looking for you. Like, I was like, what's wrong with her? Like, she's like panting and she's like behind me, like panting. And I'm like, what is she doing? I'm like, oh, she's looking for you. That's so cute, isn't it? Hello y'all, I just want to drop in and say hi. So I woke up today at 3.30, which was a little too early, like 3, 3 p.m. actually, and I kind of rolled out of bed at like 3.45, 4. So anyways, I'm drinking my coffee and just waiting to go back to work. I made some food from Trader Joe's, like some cheese bites. I don't know what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I did not prepare for that. It's like a whole job to prepare for dinner on work nights, and so I came to the point where I just, I just try not to get myself too stressed out by not being ready for work nights because I'm so tired, you guys. I'm just so tired. I just don't have it. Trigger warning. I need to see how wide I am. So 
Oh, this is serious. Yeah, I went on Amazon and brought this. Okay. Okay, look at her toys. She has toy here, toy there, toy there, toy there, toy there, toy there. She gets all the toys out. There's toys all over here. Toys here, and even, honey, when we have kids, they're gonna have a limited amount of toys they can have. They're not gonna have all these toys, baby. But see, this is what she's used to. This is gonna be my dinner tonight for work because I'm just so tired. I need something quick and snack. I'll snack on this while I'm charting. I can eat a couple of these, and then I'll have oatmeal if I feel like I need something to hold me up. And I'll eat a good breakfast. That's just how the night's gonna go. I take the bath. I'm gonna add two bananas, and that's how the night's gonna go. Okay, you guys, so today is Wednesday night. So Tuesday night, Wednesday night, off Thursday, and then I work Friday night, so tomorrow, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm in good spirits, I'm trying to be positive. I hope work is okay, but whatever happens, the good thing is I'll be off Thursday, so I can handle the night, whatever happens. All right, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Bye. Nadia, as you can see, I'm wearing my robe, but I'm really excited to share with you guys today. Jeremy and I are gonna take our family Christmas pictures it is October, the end of October, and so I'm really excited, and we're gonna go to this park. It's about 30 minutes away, and we always go with Lydia. She's our uh, family photographer, and I'm excited because this year we're gonna have faith in it. Last year, we just weren't in the mood to take the family photos, so this year we're gonna take the family photos, and I'm excited, so um, yeah, you guys, can you believe it's almost that time of the year, like it's about to be like the holidays again, it's about to be Thanksgiving, it's about to be Christmas and the new year, so yeah, the year has gone by really fast. Um, maybe in the future I can just talk about my year, how it's gone, what I'm looking forward to, maybe the things I wish that I could have done more of, maybe the things that I'm proud of, but yeah, so today's just gonna be a cozy fall day, and I gotta get changed and put my clothes on. I have two outfits. One of the dresses that I got for the fall gathering, I'm gonna wear that, because I just love that dress, and it's gonna be like 73 degrees today, so that's nice, and I might change into a second outfit that I got at another like recently those brown pants that i showed you guys with the green top i think that's a really cute outfit so i may take pictures of that so basically today is going to be the fall family pictures and it's also going to be taking pictures with faith you know because she's our she is an addition to our family and we just love her she just made this place so much more homey i did not realize the impact of having a puppy or having a dog how loving and how sweet dogs can be i mean i've had my sister's dog that is in our house but just getting your own puppy that's your own dog that you took care of and just the way that she brings life into this house, it's amazing. Faith, come say hi to the people. Faith. Puppy. What are you doing? <laughs> She's eating something. Come say hi. No, I don't want you to eat that. And Faith got a haircut. Come, come look at the, please. And she got a new haircut. She got a haircut yesterday, so Faith is ready. You're gonna take pictures of mommy? So I'm excited. We're gonna take professional pictures of Faith, and she's gonna be in the photo album, and I'm also gonna get pictures with her together. So this is really Faith's photo shoot, honestly. You look like your mommy? What are you, you shouldn't be eating toilet paper. You shouldn't do that, mama. Okay, we'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Mwah. So I want to show you guys the look. I decided that I was going to be pearly. I thought, I thought to myself, today, I feel like a southern belle. So a southern belle always has her pals. So I actually wore this necklace on my wedding day. I sure did. And I didn't wear these earrings, but I did wear pearl earrings. So I got these earrings. I was going to wear some smaller ones, but since my hair is big, we're going to have to wear bigger ones because my hair is like, you know, covering it. And then I got this little pearl bracelet and little rings. I didn't get my nails done because um, I'm going to be making some pottery, you guys. And if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'm making Christmas ornaments. And so this was one look. I was like, let me be extra. And so I was like, I, I can take some pictures like this. This is cute, don't you think? This is one of my favorite little fuzzy sweaters. And I think that's cute. And so um, I also think having... 
a jean jacket with this, you know, classic dress with a jean jacket. I think that's cute, so that would be one of the looks. And I think that's it. So I'll wear it with a jean jacket, and I'll wear it with the little, with the little uh, soft sweater. And so that's one of my looks. I am going to wear boots with this outfit. I hope that the boots look right with this cute little sweater. You know what I mean? I know it'll look cute with the jeans, but I don't know about the sweater, but it might. I'm gonna go ahead and see what it looks. I'll show you guys, but yeah, that is a look. I thought this would just be cute because with the pearls and stuff, you know, it's giving, it's giving Hillary. It's giving Whitley. Y'all know about Hillary and Whitley. People say that like, oh my God, you remind me of Hillary um, and Bel Air. And then they also say that I remind them of Whitley. Now I don't like being remind. I don't like people calling me Whitley. Now Hit Hillary's a little annoying too, but I can see, I can see why they think I act like Hillary because I'm kind of like that. Like, ew, you want me to wash dishes? Gross. But Whitley gets on my nerves. I don't like being compared to Whitley, the character, of course, not the real person. And then another lookalike is um, girlfriends. Um, I forgot her name, but you know, Diana Ross's daughter. They say it looked like girlfriend, Diana Ross's daughter. And who's the other Tia Intermira. I do like being compared to Tia Intermira. That is a compliment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, I'll see you in a little bit. As you can see, I'm like really hyper and excited. So excuse all the energy, but. I could be down, I could be out, but uh -huh. one thing is true. Is that my heart will be full As long as I'm with you Yeah, it's been so long But it feels brand new And I can never be blue When it's me and you Hello you guys, we're at this beautiful park Right now taking the pictures And what, what is this park called again? Ellington Agriculture Center. Y'all, look how pretty it is, all the trees. You guys can ignore me. Don't worry about me. Look how pretty it is. We're taking our fall pictures. Jeremy's taking a picture with Faith, and we're having so much fun. Lydia's here. I don't know if you remember her from the Christmas um, pictures, but she does it every year with us. So, yeah. This is so pretty. Look how pretty it is. Oh my God. Look at Faith being spoiled. <laughs> oh yeah, where did they come from? The what? Maybe let's go over to that tree and see if it's any better. Like they are attacking me now. Oh, tell your handle if they ever want to go on your Instagram and um, book you. Oh, it's just Lydia McRae Photography, which is just my business name. You can visit my website or find me on Instagram. That way too. Instagram and Facebook. Lydia also does, well she used to do ballet. Yes, used to be a professional ballet dancer, but I do a lot of dance photography, weddings, couples. Yes, and oh my goodness, Lydia just got married. She's a newlywed. And I so congratulations. Thank I'm so you. happy for the good news. You're sweet. Thank you. Yes, and maybe next year she'll be taking pictures. If you're serious, just go ahead and let them know. Hey, I don't have a lot. <laughs> six months. Six months. You should know. Six months. I told my husband one year. I said one year. We we should know. Not just him, but we. And so sometimes you just gotta do that because why not? We're not in our 20s. Nope. We're in our 30s, so it's a different ball game when you're in 30s. Look at the men, they get so uncomfortable when we talk like this. I don't know why. Okay, you guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello, you guys. So it's nighttime and we just had our photo shoot. It was so nice. Um, it was beautiful out there. I definitely wanna go to that park again. Anyways, I'm gonna call it in night. Good morning. Good night. Bye.